Good evening, people. We are in October, and that is Horror Month. Um, so I'm going to show some of my, I won't say absolute favourite horror films, but the horror films that are just underneath my favourite horror films. I just did a video for the collab channel, uh, the Grumpy Old Gent, Grumpy Old Gents on Film. I'll put the link down below if anyone is remotely interested in that um, picture here of my favourite horror films. So these are the ones that I do also very much like, but they're just underneath. So we'll start off with, I also want to mention Village of the Damned. I own it, but I can't find it. I don't know why I can't find it. It should be with the others, but it's not. But 2004, we have a film called Creep. This is about, I think it's, I think it's Famke Janssen finds herself locked and trapped in the London underground, um, which I can imagine is never a good time. Then, more horror comedy, Shaun of the Dead. Um, the, For me, the best and my favourite Ron Turner film is the first one. Um, always enjoyed that ever since I first saw it. And this one, The Scars of Dracula, um, I think they did six or seven of these, Hammer did. Um, but this one, apart from the, fir the first and the third, has always stood out. Plus, there's another one. Ooh. I'm forgetting them all the time. I'm forgetting them all the time. And there's also the second one called... I think, oh, the Brides of Dracula? It, it's in between Dracula and... Prince of Darkness, but I like that one as well. Um, then the first of that, the set, uh, the first one, 28 days later, 21, 28 weeks later, not so much, but 28 days later, yeah, very enjoyable indeed. Then from the Hitchcock set, a lot of people have this in their favours. I think a couple of the other guys did um, on the Club channel, but Psycho speaks for itself. I do like Psycho 3 as well. And of course, The Birds. That's always a good time. Then of course, a heavyweight in the horror realm, uh, The Exorcist. I like it. I haven't always liked it, but I do like it. Everyone knows that. My favorite Invasion of the Body Snatchers film, uh, the 1970s film, this has Jeff Goldblum, Mr. Spock and Donald Sutherland. And I want to give a mention to the comedy of terrors, but that really is more comedy. But Fall of the House of Usher, gothic, atmospheric goodness. Um, the Carnival of Souls. That is really eerie and creepy. This has a great atmosphere and a great soundtrack as well. Candyman, the only Candyman film worth a shit from 92. This one I've only seen once, but it's a silent film, I think from 25. And it has that famous scene, um, Phantom of the Opera. Not my favourite Phantom of the Opera film, but my favourite Phantom of the Opera film is actually the... 2004 based off Andrew Lloyd Webber's musical where Gerard Butler is the singing phantom. Can you believe that? Because I, I can't. Another gothic horror, The Pit and the Pendulum, I think that has, yeah, it does Barbara Steele, which a couple of the other boys think she's the greatest thing ever. Um, that's a good one. Then this one I've seen, you know, discussed, is it a horror film? Um, it's regarded as one of the best British horror films ever. I've always thought of it as a horror film, but slightly tame, but it has a great ending. And of course, it is The Wicker Man. The only Wicker Man worth a shit. And we have The Mist. Um, there's a black and white version on this, which I always watch. I never watch the colour version. Um, seen the colour version once, I like the black and white aesthetic to it, but yeah, mist rolls in and there's all kinds of weird creepy bugs ranging in various sizes and at the end of it is something to see. Then, 
let the right one in, but I also have inside let me in, which I don't mind that, but let the right one in Swedish, a vampire film, um, a little bit different than other vampire films. Um, two, two lonely kids form a friendship, one drinks blood. Then we have this one, Orphan. I watched the sequel, I think last year, it was okay. But this one, there's something wrong with Esther. There's something wrong with her. And look at it now, how could I not have seen what was wrong with her? Um, but at the time, I didn't. You'll never guess a secret. Well, you probably will. But I didn't. But I like that one. And last, but by no means least, is a film that has grown on me. It's slow. It's... It builds up, and it's Rosemary's Baby. Um, I think it's Mia Farrow. Moves into an apartment. All kinds of stuff going on. But a really good, solid watch. And there are others that I do enjoy. In fact, every horror film that I own, I enjoy. So I could probably show every single horror film that I have. But these are my the, the ones that I, I really do enjoy. Link down below. Anyone interested in seeing the films that I love? Happy Halloween to everyone. And we'll see what the rest of the month brings.